I want to bring in Judge Andrew Napolitano on the criminal investigation that is being launched by the Justice Department. Judge, uh, are espionage charges legal? I mean, they make them stick. Well, for, for the government to, to charge him with espionage and convict him of espionage, they would have to prove that his, his purpose and intent was to aid an enemy of the United States. He has stated that his purpose and intent was to expose, I'll use your phrase uh, with Mike Baker, the big brother uh, aspects, the dark side of the American government, that in a, in a free society the American people mm -hmm. uh, have the right to know that. So I think it would be easier for the government to convict him of a simpler charge, like violating his national security clearance. Well, that he's, he's pretty much admitted to. You, you can pay a pretty high price if you're yes, convicted yes, of you, Yes, violence. you can, yeah. but it's not life in prison, as, as could be the case for espionage. However, the government almost always overcharges, that is, charges for crimes greater than, than the evidence bears, because the result is either a compromise in the form of a guilty plea or the compromise in the form of a jury verdict. So their, their hope and expectation is that they'll end up somewhere where they would like to have been. So I wouldn't be surprised if they charge him with espionage, whether they can prove the case or not. We're told that he is currently in Hong Kong, but that he wants to go to Iceland and get diplomatic, not diplomatic, but get immunity and stay in Iceland because there's no extradition contract or something like that. What do you make of this? Well, there is, the United States does not have an extradition treaty with Iceland. Right. Uh, and uh, Iceland has a, a government that sometimes does grant uh, a permanent status, political asylum, if you will, to people who could be prosecuted in their home country for something that they wouldn't be prosecuted for uh, in Iceland. But we, of course, uh, do this uh, ourselves and have done it to Chinese dissidents and, and Cuban dissidents, uh, etc. Uh, but, but he used to work for the CIA, so if you listen to him and, and, and parse his words, he said, I could be subject to rendering. Rendering means being kidnapped on the streets by an American agent, handed over to the custody of a third world agent and brought to another country where awful things could be done to him. That's what he meant by rendering. But by going public, he stopped that from happening. Well, he, he, he has at least made himself a household name and a household face. But as a result of what he did, he's going he's gonna to live with this fear probably for the rest of his life. John? Just from what I understand, what we've heard so far, he's claiming he, this is only 10 percent, in other words, the tip of the iceberg. Could he use the other 90 percent as leverage to, to render a, a sur surrender that guarantees him a certain sentence. Could he say, listen, I'll come in, if I know I'm only going to get one or two years, but I won't reveal the rest I, of the I doubt that. that the government would enter into that kind of a bargain. I think he's probably already revealed to Glenn Greenwald, the, the journalist to whom he revealed yep. this stuff initially, and others what he's going to say, and they're just timing the, uh, the release of it. And of course, in the blogs, he's a hero. Yeah. Yeah. I did a certain, I did a certain yeah, Twitter so far, years. and I've gotten overwhelmingly hero, overwhelmingly hero. Because, well, the, because this was done in secret, and the American public knew nothing about it, and the director of national uh, intelligence, Admiral Clapper, denied under oath that they were gathering massive amounts of information on tens of millions of Americans. Well, he knew that they were. Okay, just let me close out with this. Uh, put it up on the screen, please. This is Booz Allen Stock. They oh. are the consulting firm for which Mr. Stoden worked. Uh, maybe he still does, I'm not sure. Down 3.5%. That could be because the government will now start restricting how many contractors it uses, and uh, especially for this kind of thing. I mean, bearing in mind this. 3.5%, Judge. Yes. That's damage. As a contractor, he has the same burden to, to maintain the secrecy as a, as a government employee uh, does but not the same supervision. Got it, Judge. We hear you loud and clear. Thank you, sir.